By the way, chat, through my Nexus, you can pick up Smite 2 Founders Edition on Steam Epic and Xbox or PlayStation coming on, on Monday. So if you guys want to pick that up using my Nexus, it directly supports me, chat. Don't forget, purchasing Founders Edition will also double your legacy gems in Smite 2 alongside unlocking all Smite 2 gods that will be released forever. So it's the God Pack plus you get double value on whatever gems you've ever spent Smite. Raw, that's a funny skin. Cross gen, cross gen, let's go. That's a sick Baku skin. Nurse Nightmare is an army, that's pretty cool. Trash Common Sill, that's okay. Ooh, Phantom C Poseidon, that looks pretty sick. Cross gen battle pass, nice. Bug fixes, loading frames, domination, multi queue. Okay, I'm on a Morgan, fix nature gen. <laughs> okay, that's a crazy problem. There will be a few adjustments across several mechanics in order to test waters and get critical data and refer to the so kill rewards, decrease bonus XP. Decrease bonus XP for low level players, killing high level players from 0 0.3 to 0 0.2. Okay, this is good. It's a positive change. Makes sense to me. In line with adding more. Okay, a lot of talking. New objective Bull Demon King. The Bull Demon spawns from 2 minutes until 15 minutes in the Fire Giant pit. The Fire Giant now spawns at 15, moved from 10 minutes. The flaming speed achievement has been adjusted from 1030 to 1530. Okay. Okay, that's the achievement. The killing the bull demon awards global gold XP and a team wide buff bull demon sight. For 60 seconds, bull demon sight reveals all enemy wards on the map for the duration of the buff, making them killable. I feel like that's a pretty weak buff. I feel like that was pretty, like, not very creative, if you ask me. The bull demon, I feel like the, res the reward of the demon should be more, something different. Uh, the kissing the wards, every ward, these guys drop one ward per game. I think maybe movement speed out of base, maybe 10 extra power, maybe 5% movement speed, maybe anything. Well, seeing wards, I mean, it's okay, I guess, for comp, but there is no comp, so I'm not sure. The bull demon responds two minutes after being defeated. Okay, so an objective every two minutes. Jungle starter items can be used. Jungle starter items can be used against the bull demon. Okay, so jungle does more to him. Sats, health 25, 30 plus 350 every 3 minutes from match start 23. Plus 350 every 3 minutes, okay. Physical power 100 plus 10 every 3 minutes from match start. So it scales really heavily, just like tower should scale. Why can't they put this on structures? I don't I don't get it. Why, why can't they do this to structures? Alright, chat. So what we're doing here is a cover-up. When I initially read the Bull Demon Rewards, I was like, 60 seconds. Like, man, it could have been more creative, like... Something more movement speed, more damage, something of that nature. But then when I played it, I was like, oh my god, this is OP, bro. I see every single ward. And then I saw, like, the, the macro to it. I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Like, I can just play that side of the map because I know there's no wards and sentry everything. So, I am saying I'm sorry for thinking that, even though I never tried it. Clapper. I'm not allowed to think things in YouTube. I'm sorry. I will never think anything again. Yeah, Charlie, for Smite 2, uh, to get the pre-alpha, it'll be on sale on April 15th, Monday. So, four days from today. What up, Lone Wolf? Go 55 plus 5 every three minutes for match star. XP 110 plus 10. 55 gold, 60. So, 55 gold every three minutes from match star. Plus 5 every three minutes. Okay. He could scale. Nice. He scales pretty well. Gold Fury, Gold Oni, and Primal Debuffs have been reduced from 5% to 4% per stack at 30% at max stack 24. Okay. Mid Harpies reduced physical power from 20 to 16. Naga's base gold increased 10 gold and 10 XP reduced physical power. Mid Harpies. Okay. So Mid, Harper, mid Harpies do less damage. Oni and Primal do less damage with the debuff. What's up? Hey, yo. Self-made queso with the sub, dude. Thank you, gorgeous. Appreciate that, man. Nagas are worth more. They should be worth more. Thank you, man. Welcome. Thanks for throwing that prime my way. Shield buff, base gold, reduce 45. Base XP reduced. Wait, why am I spending nervous to carry for me? Officially, we still notice that on average. Do only have significant form as a measure. Okay. That's good change. Gold and XP between the shield buff and the cooldown buffs now match. Okay. That's good. The the Naga Siren is the is the the camp to the side, in between solo and duo. Cooldown buff, basic speed reducers. And now grants additional five seconds. Is this a Chronos Pendant? Invade penalty reduce the base invade. So reduce the base invade penalty from seventy five to five. So five percent. This penalty linearly reduces to zero percent by ten minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so that's so little though. Seventy five percent. Why not? Why not try fifty percent, bro? Five percent, dude. Five, bro. They should have just said seventy two point five just to fuck with us. Assault. Okay, God select players. Yeah, reroll twice. That's cool for assault players. Tier one. Yeah, they should make more fighting. I agree with all of this for assault health orbs. Essentially, all the word have been staggered. That makes sense to me. Okay, nice. Found movement speed. Is this still for assault? I'm leaving the panel. Okay, that's cool. These are cool assault changes. Positive assault changes. Domination tick and race for five at twenty percent increase. That's cool. All right, these are the dual bands. All these gods are banned now from dual. Interesting. Bobble. What? What, bro? They killed that item, bro. What the fuck, dude? They killed that item, bro. They killed that item, bro. That item is dead, bro. Dead, 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 dead. Dead, dead, dead. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. Okay. Decreased minion is dead. Is so dead, pajama. You don't know how dead it is. Okay, so this item, even at 2450, right? 2450, it was already a questionable item unless you were a very specific character like Odin or something that, you know, like, I feel like on Thor, you were lacking savage damage, Kamazots. Any of these actual junglers, just you lose too much power. A heart seeker, you lose heart seeker, you lose titans, you lose all these items. You can't, you can't. That 2900, bro. I'm not buying that ever in my life. Decrease minion damage per stack from two to one. Decrease all oh, minion damage. Okay, so for for solo, I guess they're nerfing solo a bit. That makes sense to me. Understandable. Decrease inner damage from 70 to 250, from 60 to 240. Decrease outer damage from 140 to 220 to 130 to 210. Okay. All right. This I tweeted about this item. I tweeted about this new item, Storm Seeker. So, all right. When you loot, when you're building six slots of smite in smite, you need six core slots. Why? Because selling an item isn't very real, right? Because you rat, you're playing for three k pot. You selling an item isn't very realistic. Five hundred three k pot are just so important to stack. So, building spike items, which are are quick not uh, cheap items is bad for the game when is the last time you seen a poison blade or poison dagger i don't even know the name of the item that's how bad it is when right how often do you see a wing blade right why because they don't scale they don't scale they're items that with very low stats and very little worth very little for your six slot build that's why we don't see the item so they could have made this item a 2700 gold item 30 attack power, 20% attack speed, and more passive, more people would buy it. But instead, they choose to make it a spike item that won't scale, even though the nature of the passive is to scale. Very, very confusing, if you ask me. Very, very confusing. And if you saw the statistics on how often people are autoing in a game, on average... It is very, very low compared to the 9-9 nine, nine stacks where you... This is when you va get value and you're just not getting that value. This item makes no sense to me. No sense. I'm not sure what's going on in the round table, but the math ain't hitting. Now, Equinox. Um, 2,200 gold. This item makes a bit more sense to me. Uh, they, they replaced it for Golden Blade. Yo, my boy B with the 27 months. Thank you so much, Gorgeous. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Thanks for popping that level 2 hype train. So... The thousand fold blade, twenty two hundred gold. Another, another spike item. Really close to a spike item. Just saying. Twenty five physical power, very low. Twenty percent attack speed, pretty nice. Seven percent move movement speed, pretty nice. Passive. When you hit an enemy ba with a basic attack from the front, you heal for two plus one health per level, doubled against God. So two plus one, two plus one. So a flat amount. Okay, so max level you're doing what you heal two plus per level. So let's just say you're 20, 20, 22 doubled against gods, 44, 44 in front of us. That's a lot. Late game. Okay, when you hit an enemy with a basic attack from the back, you deal additional 15 plus three. So base level. Yo, Simo, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Okay, you see this item makes more sense to me. This item makes no sense to me. This item makes more sense um, I think there is availability. I think um, Since it scales per level, right? I think you're buying it I think most value is around that level 10 to 15 marker obviously 20 is m max value, but I think 
I, I think if you're buying this as last item, it's a mistake. Why? The stats are pretty weak, right? I'd rather have Bloodforge, Mantle, Heartseeker, like all these items. This is more of a core slot, maybe level 10 to 15 around that area. Yeah, Erlang comes to mind, Balona, maybe Mercury, any obviously AA clicker. So so this is this item makes more sense to me. This item makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, I like this item. Aaron Dye got some nice buffs. Decreased cost, yeah, it was too expensive. 100 gold makes sense to me. Increased buff duration, that's really good. 10 seconds, okay. And increased passive damage. Okay, these are really good changes. Aaron Dye might be back. Aaron Dye looks pretty good to me now. Gem of Iso, decreased passive cooldown from 5 to 2.5 seconds. Passive cooldown. Gem of Iso might be 2.5. How long does it slow for? I gotta go look at the item. Wow. Wow, so you can actually always slow. 2.5 seconds, 2.5 second internal CD. So you're, if you if you time it perfect, and and it's once per ability. Okay, okay. Gem of Iso, Gem of Iso's in a, in a pretty good spot now. Let me see the stats. 65 magical power. That's okay. It's 200 health. That's nice. 10% CCR. Uh, I I feel like that looks more like a guardian item to me. Maybe a solo item. Solo item. It makes sense. Guardian item. Okay, okay, I can see some availability for now. Nice, 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 nice. Good job, Hyrus. That was a good change. Reduce passive cooldown from 5 to 3. Okay, that's another good change for Frostbound. Very nice. Yeah, on Cthulhu, I could see it for sure. Decrease that. Alright, this item needs to be deleted. Um, sorry, Hyrus. Stop trying to work with this item. This item needs to be deleted and maybe changed for something else. This item is a bunch of percentages that nobody gives a shit about and it's a weak item. Like, bad item. Just, I'm not even want to read it, to be honest. Just a bad design item, unfortunate. Scrap it up. Um, increase. Okay, this might be another scrap it up, but we'll see. Increase deploy range from 20 to 30 units. Okay, that helps it. Reduce the cooldown by 10. Okay, that helps a little bit. A uh, great divine barrier. The upgrade increases deploy range from 20 to 30 units. Okay, the same shit, but uh, reduce CD. Okay, increase deploy range 20. Okay, increase basically. Um, uh, 15%. Maybe it was 25%. I could see it to like blow up objectives. Maybe double hunter comp, something of that nature. Still looks pretty weak to me. Vision shard increase radius from 35 to 45. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Whoa. They're buffing wing shard again. Oh. Okay. That's really nice. Really nice. What's up, bubble buddy? Increase base slow from 18 to 20%. Increase slow per stack. 10%. Okay. Decrease cooldown from 17. <laughs> Dude, they're all, they've been messing with the CD for, for years. They don't know where to put it. So 15 flat. Okay. That's really big change. That helps Izzy a bit. A good bit. Okay, they've been trying to make you come back. Decrease stack time from 6 to 3. That's a pretty good change. Increase burn damage tick from 5 to 9 to 5 to 13. Okay, nice. Increase projectile damage scaling from 35 to 40%. Increase AoE damage scaling. Okay, that's good for the character, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Maui is not the easiest character. I think he's strong right now. I've always thought he's strong, but he is not the greatest in the hands of a noob. Increase attack speed from 1.2 to 1.4. Okay, that's a weird change, but helps his laning phase absolutely a shit ton. Increase stun duration from 1.1 to 1. Ooh, what? Okay. Solar swing is broken ability. Yeah, that's mannequin solo Maui. That's definitely Maui solo. Um, that's the king. He was rather strong. He clues it over nerves. Recover from that small adjustments. We were cutting on to give a slap push forward. This character is already one of the best characters in the game. No cap. Okay, decrease cooldown. Nobody gives a shit about this ability. This ability should be a scrap. In my opinion, um, decrease max count from 60 to 40. Okay, so you get your passive faster, increase movement speed per stack 0 0.2. Increase basic attack per stack. Wow, okay. That's, that's, they, they reduced the stacks and gave it more. Ooh. Increase shield damage from 40 to 160 to 45 to 185. Ooh. That's a lot, boss. Sheesh. King Arthur right now proc basic attack items with basic is basic attack. So, okay, that's pretty cool. I feel like King Arthur deserves that. All right, this this character is a scrap up too, but we'll see. Increase rapid movement speed from 3.5 chunk of movement speed to five times. Okay, increase movement speed while dancing from speed while dancing. So while you dance, the the rabbit's going faster. Okay, increase damage taken debuff duration. What? Okay. Uh, Heimdaller now sorry sorry now spawns 55 units in front of him. Heimdaller's sword's landing is now consistent no matter how far the the sword respond. On a quick cast, the target will automatically appear on a summon hill and instant cast the target. Okay, this is nice. But this is her Jade Rabbit, though. I don't understand. Movement speed while dancing. So they should have split it up so it's not looking like it's the rabbit <laughs> that's 
doesn't dance. That's why it was a little confusing, but yeah, when she dances, she goes faster. Yeah, yeah, the rabbit doesn't dance, but still, they should have just split it up to Changa. Um, but it's fine. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, she has more movement wheel dancing. It's pretty nice, an extra fifteen percent. Um, and then damage taken debuff from four of an extra second. That's okay. Uh, this is whatever. Surger stacks from two hundred to nine ninety nine. Surger gets one stack from hitting an enemy god. An enemy, enemy god too. Exactly. This is how they should have done it. Now everything's one stack. So okay, so Surger gains one stack when hitting an enemy non god. Two stacks while killing an enemy non-god. Okay, nice. Three stacks when hitting an enemy god. Five. Sorry, against five stacks. No, it should not be five stacks. It should be ten stacks when killing an enemy god with it. Damage per stack decrease. Like, you can't go from three to hitting someone to five if you kill. That's very inconsistent. It should be three to hit them, and then maybe ten, and then ten or twelve when you kill him, bro. How often are you killing someone with that ability? Not always. It's very rare. Damage per stack decrease from 5 per stack to 1 per stack. Damage de per stack decrease from 5 per stack to 1 per stack. Okay, yeah, that's fair. You're getting your stack much easier. That's pretty good. I like the quality of life. Keep it hard. Okay, that's okay. Quality of life. Kabakan's protection buff no longer wears off while he continues to take damage. Okay. Herc, the camera is not... Oh, yeah, I saw that. This is, this is awesome changes. A quick cast a target will no longer a magic appear unless the guy comes. Nice to cast a target. No okay. Ability in 11.3 did a small ability adjustments to particular sluggish or others mismatch animation of the poor fire making adjustments. Game wide improve the feel of casting. Okay, nice. Achilles, shield of Achilles. Interesting. Stinger, a posh. Okay, okay, okay. Dragon, range attack. Okay. Back off. Okay. Across the sky. That's a lot of spells. Oh my god. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, I'm never gonna miss a Hercule. Like, it feels like when you're throwing it, you know how before you were stuck to your, like, your your character model? Now you can, like, look around while you're holding it. Oh, yeah, that feels nice. Mario, bro. I'm Mario in this game. Here we go. Mario Sunshine, motherfucker. Alright, feels pretty nice. All right, well, let's see how this feels. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Oh yeah. change about it did you see anything chat i don't i don't know oh, okay yeah 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 okay when you lift off i feel it it's a he takes off faster like like exactly when he gets out you know before he had like a little delay
Like, give her more movement. Like, her movement is... They improved it a bit. Like, you feel faster. But, like, it needs more juice. Like, you can't be... Like... A thought? Well, how are you gonna play? <laughs> Oh, it's like bang 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 your face immune okay bang bang it's like no i need to be able to like to like like close distance and then come in and out that's the type of character this character is you can't just be a one trick blink all the ages you die like that you can't be that they need to give it more design bunny needs to be way better bro literally i'd rather back to base than have this bunny fucking walk in every direction but to me <laughs> with a mana pot bro give me the fuck out get this guy to give me like full items if i have tier two i can buy it bro what's the point of this passive bro give me like i can buy tier like a i mean and it, and it's way faster way faster like th maybe two times the speed maybe three times so it's bringing items non-stop so like if you're laning as a solo you can actually do something maybe you're gonna buy mana pots wards probably tier twos Let's see what the ult feels like here. Yeah, the one, the one. So before it was like delayed, right? Like, and then the damage will come up. Right now, it look, look how fast it comes up. Literally, as soon as he like, she starts casting it. If you're on it, you just take the damage. Okay. Huh? Oh wow! Nice. Wow, yeah, this feels nice, man. I might play some cherry. Okay, I ran in the mana chat. That feels really good, man. I really like the last two patches, man. A lot of quality of life. Hyra is doing really good things. Setting up for some I2. Okay, that feels kind of nice. see it okay they changed how it feels for his ult one and three so i'm just trying to see how much it really is mm, yeah that feels a little bit better okay the three feels low hmm
Okay, I can see it. If it hits like more consistently when the animation is finishing, right? So like bang, like kind of like hell three, and at the end it knocks up. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I'm probably gonna eat a protein cookie right now. By the way, Chef, you guys want to check out your protein cookie? Make sure to check out Control, best protein cookie out there. Ten percent avocado. Let's go. <sighs> That combo is nice right there. It feels pretty smooth. But like, start it up. Bang, bang, bounce, boom. One off of it. You can literally bounce them into your one. Yeah, yeah, you can actually do that. Oh, his bananas are feeling. Oh, yeah. Wait a second, chat. I gotta build. I wanna play. Feels good. Emir Emir feels like really good just because of the quality of life changes. I feel like his stun is so nice. It's so confirmable. I'll be able to see around too. Well, I feel like I, I'd use a lot of Emir. I was playing ranked right now. What's up, Joseph? Yeah, the autos feel nice. Yeah, the darts feel faster. Feels nice. I feel like it goes faster. Yeah, it travels faster. Yeah, it feels way better. L look how good the new hot shield is. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can strafe it. You can strafe it now. Wait, did one you did the same? Uh, no, not yet. Just haunt you from whatever. Yeah, look. I did a U turn. I did a U turn in a little corner. Reverse. <laughs> nah, did you watch this? I'm gonna go on both sides. Oh, that feels, yeah, that feels better. I, I feel like I, yeah, it feels like before, uh, okay. Yeah, that feels pretty smooth. Yeah, 
Wait. Okay, that it'd be like this. Oh my god, it's The spin is so bad for You should be able to cancel your spin, that should be the next thing. This is the best combo. Tung 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 tung. Spinning just feels bad with this build. see it the ult too much but I guess it does feel like the damage is coming faster Yeah, it feels like it's coming out faster. <laughs> 